So, I guess you're wondering what you have to do to get the famed crab mount. It is possibly one of the most unique mounts to come into BF5 that isn't on the star. It walks sideways. It's a freaking crab. Well, it is from an achievement, a very lengthy one, the Undersea Zerper. It not only grants the snapback scuttler, but the title of the depths, which is pretty cool, I might add. Now, it isn't what you could consider hard, but will take some time and dedication. As you noticed, I haven't acquired it, yet I'm making a guide on it. Well, the reason for that is that the achievement, no matter your efforts, is time-gated, in a way, as some achievements needed can only be done once a week. So, no matter what you do, if you started playing 8.2 since its release, or rather Najatar, it will take you 13 weeks of doing everything I'm gonna say in this video. So listen carefully. If you want the crab mount, you will get the freaking crab mount. So listen. Shh, shh. There's a lot of achievements to go through. So let's go by the easiest and fastest first. Tour of the Depths. Just play this on, really. Be world quests and quests available, you will easily get this. Not much to say. I thought you said they would be rare. Basically to kill all rares. It can be tricky because rares in these 8.2 zones are awfully rare again, with long spawn timers, so it can be somewhat time consuming to get them all. But two tips for you to hunt rares. One is to get the TomTom -tom add-on for Najadar that will highlight every rare in the zone, so go by and see if they are present. Consider also getting Najadar rare share, as each rare you encounter you will let other people know in the general chat. Trust me, that will be grateful by seeing other people shouting rares, so why not do it yourself as well. The other is to play around with sharding and the looking for group tool. Often you can find groups for certain rares that are not present in your face, in your servers, but are present on others. So check that, I got a few that way. Alternatively, you can server hop. It's a little dirty, but you can use random groups around Najatar to hop into other people's phases from other servers to see if the rare is up that you need. Now, most rares are just that, rare spawns around the zone, but there are other rares that does have requirements to spawn, but feel free to pause the video to check that out on the screen. Most of these and others, the credit goes to Vereen and the community from Wowhead and the Secret a Discord channel. They are literally gods. Uh, moving on to Explore Najatar. Yep, just walk around an exploded zone. Subaquatic support, like Tour of the Depths, just play the zone. These are essentially all daily quests available, so play the zone daily and you eventually get it, if not already. The same is applied to Najatar target eliminated, uh, but these are on world quests. Again, play the zone daily and you will get it. Uh, getting to Exalted requirements, pretty straightforward as well. The same follows for the questline completion, uh, just play through the zone. Now, I won't go too much into what ways you can do to improve your reputation to get faster reputation because a lot of these achievements already grant these items but um, short answer do battle pets now we get to others that you actively need to focus on like uh, terror of the tadpoles pretty fun one while at the same time annoying yeah you will need to get to the bloodfin village uh, the morlock village and show away the little uh, tadpoles so right click them uh, now i did this as a bloody guy which basically meant i could pull everything while clicking but if you're not a tank uh, consider getting the stirrups from blacksmithers to allow you to interact while mounted if you are flying that is and just do that instead because clicking 100 times while being followed by a hundred warlocks well isn't fun nothing to cry about like the name indicates you might cry a little bit but isn't too hard in short all those crying stones that you pick allow you to loot uh, hidden chests just got to do about 100 of those i haven't been able to find any add-ons to help with this but occasionally uh, chests give you a buff to see every chest in your minimap for two minutes so take advantage of that to make your life much easier also, you don't want to be flying with this, so stay grounded. Do try as well to hoard as many stones as possible over time before you go on this adventure. Remember, you have time gating, so you have a lot of time. And this way, you can also make proper use of that side buff so you don't get to the weird and awkward position of getting the buff and then you don't have any more stones. And lastly, uh, these are the zones which are very compact on chests. Happy hunting. 
Back to the depths. It's not hard as well, but it might take some time. Requiring you to do the summons from the depths scenario 10 times. What is that, you may ask? Well, you might have come across the letters in front of your screen at times while in Ajatar the Tajara is performing some summoning and some purple skulls appear in your map. There's an event around Najatar and you pretty much need to do this 10 times. Uh, like the rares, do keep track of it in your group finder as well. Uh, sometimes they pop up in other servers. And no rush as well because gating. I haven't even completed it myself. Then we have two or rather uh, three achievements which are very similar to each other, being a trove tracker, feline figurines and puzzle performer, essentially to find treasures. Puzzle performer is the Candy Crush game and the line game you play for world quests. There's a variety of them and if you like me, just play dailies and you will eventually get them done. Their rotation is random, so you might do them on repeat sometimes. Remember getting again, so there's enough time. Uh, feline figurines, which have the best description of all achievements, is more simple. Just little cat statues are hidden around Ajatar in caves primarily. You can find the locations of them here on this map, but I will also show them here on the video uh, really quickly as you might get a little confused since the locations might not be entirely clear with just a dot on a map. So yeah, be right back or skip ahead or pause, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's the kitty cats locations. Then there's a trove tracker locations as well. These are chests that you also need to find. They are hidden, like the figurines. I will leave the map here and with the locations, I'll go through them in the video really quickly.
Okay, so you're making some progress now. Uh, what's left? Well, Merle's uh, secret stash, or Merle's, is also needed, and if you're paying attention these past weeks, you might have already gotten this achievement, and that is the amount that you get from Merle. Uh, Merle is just a little Morlock that you will find in Ajatar in this location that you have to escort back to your base. Once there, he will sell you items through this minigame of uh, trading other items with other Morlocks. However, to a seed amount, you need to obtain a benthic cloak, which allows you to see the secret stocks of the Morlocks. A few times a month, the mount Crimson Tide Stallion, or Red Fabius, will pop up for you to buy. So, what are you gonna need? Well, two items are from the trading game between the Morlocks, requirements listed on the screen or in the description for you to know how to get them. But the Taco is from another secret Morlock vendor, Murloco. Uh, you will find him in this cave uh, with a little event as he is being jailed by a couple of Naga. Uh, this can happen at any time, not just when the mount is up for sale. So. You can keep checking this location, this cave, because once you save him, he will become a vendor and he will sell you the taco, being the last ingredient needed for the Morlock transaction for your sweet mount. And much like the previous achievements, you can cheese this by server hopping, both for the mount sale and Murloco. In my case, I got some nice guys saying Murloco was up and all I had to do was join his group and buy the taco. So now we are three achieves left from completing. So what about a fistful of mana pearls? It is just to get 1000 pearls and I say just. Much like the previous achievements, you can get 1000 pearls just by playing Najadar. Remember that you have time gating, so no rush. But if you do want to rush outside of world quests, do remember that the scrying stones do grant pearls on the chests. Uh, so two birds with uh, one stone. Uh, the Summoning Depths event also grants them. And basically you can see where I'm going with this, right? A lot of the past achievements that I went through can also grant pearls, so you're just gonna get them passively, pretty much. Rares too, as well, obviously. Getting pearls won't be the issue. But now we get to the two biggest cock blockers that caused this 13 week period of gating to occur. Uh, periodic Destruction and Aqua Team Murder Force. Aqua Team is to get all, and I mean all of your bodyguards to rank 30. Well, you can only level them once per day with the dailies, so 30 days for each, so three months. However, you can get some items to ease this, as a Merle Morlock vendor sometimes sells follower XP and other rare items that you can get. Either way, it's not gonna be by that much. Three months or close to that will be the time needed. Uh, periodic uh, destruction is much in the same. If you have no clue about this, you might remember a mage quest in a cave that you had to summon an elemental. And you also might be wondering what the hell are these elemental based items that you get. Well, once a week, you are able to get one summon in that laboratory as a weekly quest. And you have to combine various elemental stones to create different bosses. Getting all of them will be your goal. Since you need 13 of them, and you can only do this once a week, 13 weeks. Yeah. Also, all the different combos can be seen there on the screen, so make sure to come back and check before you summon a mob. Don't be summoning a repeat because that will delay your crab mount by a whole week. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that's all you got to do to get your crab mount. Uh, sucks that it's time gated so long, but hey, now you know. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to like if you did and subscribe to get more videos. I'll make sure to do a Megagon as well because you do get a pretty handsome mount as well. And I will see you in a couple of weeks with your very own Crab Boy.